Alright, welcome back. Uh, the next video I'm gonna do is uh, it's a very simple one, but I think it's I just wanted to put it there as part of the manual, and um, I guess some of you may have uh, an, um, questions about this. So it's about the tripod, using a tripod. So the the manual says for optimum quality, you have to use a large, sturdy tripod. And, you know they recommend that, and it is true. This thing is it's heavy, and a lot of the tripod heads, if you're using those little, you know. They're lightweight. Um, I'm not I'm not saying flimsy, but you know they're like very they're very weak. So you can just just put a little this DSLR, or you can put like a little video camera on top, or a little point and shoot camera. And there are some tripods that are kind of weak for that, but there are some more sturdy ones. And I think the price range would be maybe around 150 dollars, 200 dollars, uh, all the way up, right? So you get really good brands like Manfrotto and uh, Bellbone or or Zag. Any of those uh, sturdy tripods would work. You don't need a huge, huge thing, but something that would just be sturdy to to handle this because it's heavy. Once you have a lens that is probably like the 180 lens is a little longer, and if you put the bellows out, it's gonna it's gonna put the weight down. It's gonna try to put the camera down like that because the tripod will be set up right here. And I have seen uh, and used tried tripods with this camera that are. Um, you know, if I forget my tripod and some friends, it's like, okay, you can use my tripod, but they're like just little tripods, you know. Um, I set the camera and I tried to set it up and the camera would just start sliding down or start sliding front uh, because even the, the tightening of the tripod, when you try to level the head, it will be not strong enough to hold the camera and it will start like sliding down. So you need something that is like sturdy to, to handle this camera. I've seen some like ball heads tripods and some of them are okay, some of them are not so okay. I mean you need something that can be locked into place so a uh, sturdy one is recommended. Now for the um, adapting mode, uh, you see the tripod head is down here, the tripod hole head down here and um, it has these two holes there to basically to hold this thing so you, you need something like big right there and this is a tripod head. It's usually a uh, size, uh, what they call the U1/4 thread head and uh, that will be the normal one. It usually comes with this but also the camera, this is actually an adapter. Um, so if you want to remove this adapter you get left with a hole that is a little bigger than this and that will be for the 3 8 of an inch screw. Um, so this is the 1 4 and if you remove this it will be a 3 8. So to remove this you use a coin you can just grab any any coin that you have and just put it in there and just turn it around and flip it out. Uh, mine is pretty stuck in there. Um, I need a lot of force to to move it out because uh, I I tighten it up pretty well. Uh, but um, I'm using a setup with uh, with a, a custom made base that I do use, and I'm using this uh, the the winder automatic winder, which we'll probably see in some later episode in depth. And this has those two picks that right there to those two pins so you put those you align those in the bottom and this uh, thread would be the one fourth of an inch thread and uh, this is pretty standard so most of the cameras even video cameras or even point and shoot cameras have this this type of thread if you need something bigger this also came with the same um, adapter in here but I took up the adapter and as you can see it's a, it's a little bigger hole so if you take out the the adapter from this camera you get left with the hole like this one and that's for the 3 8 um, if you go to overseas and trying to make it well as as I did trying to make something um, more customized uh, a lot of the times you don't find these American 1 4 or you know the American measurements you you don't find them so it's easier to find millimeters or whatever so I was lucky in Japan to find the, the 3 8 now I'm not saying that you cannot find the tripods because even in Japan they use this for tripods but if you go to any store to try to make your own custom base uh, for your tripod then you may not be able to find these type of screws just by the screw itself so um, that's what I happen to do uh, the screw that I use for this camera, the, the custom base that I have, is is actually pretty much a, a normal screw. And I couldn't find the screw that the, that was the one for it, so I, the only one that I could find was the 3 8 and I cut it in order to put it there to assemble it to my base. Um, so that will be the, the tripod thing. So, alright, see you guys in the next video.